Hi, I am Aliza Tanbir from Skillcurve. In this video, we will connect and query our Redshift data warehouse and for that, we will first connect to the cluster using DataGrip. Then we will run some simple queries on both the datasets in the DataGrip that we loaded in the previous video. And then we will join both datasets together with a simple join query. In the previous video, we left off at storing the data into the table from our S3 bucket. The data was stored in the titles table having the following columns and also in the titles basic table having following data in it. Now we are going to run some simple queries. We'll start by running a query at the titles table to count and display the number of records that are present in the table and for that we are going to write this query. Upon executing the query, you will get the number of records present in the titles table which is approximately 35 million records. Similarly, we will write a query to count the number of records present inside the title basics table and upon executing the query, you will get the total number of records that are present inside the title basics table which is approximately 9.8 million. Let's execute another query on the titles table and in this query, we are going to select distinct languages from the titles table and we are going to order the result on the basis of language. Let's execute the query to see the result. Upon executing, you will see a list of languages that are present inside the titles table. Then we will run another query on the title basics table in which we are going to select the maximum runtime in minutes, the minimum runtime in minutes and average runtime in minutes and the number of records for each runtime. Upon executing the query, you will see that the maximum runtime is 54,460 minimum is 0, average is 43 and count of values. Let's run another query to find out the number of movies that are rated as adult in the title basics table. Let's execute it. Upon executing the query, you will see that a total of approximately 300,000 movies in the title basics table are adult. And finally, we will join our two datasets together using a simple join statement. And to do so, we are going to write this particular query here. We are selecting title, language, primary title, start year, genre from the titles table and we are joining the two tables on the basis of ID and also where the language is English. Now execute it. The query execution will take some time because both datasets are very large and once it is executed, you will see that both tables are joined having the column title, language, primary title, start year, genre of all the movies where the language is English. And this is how you can connect to your Redshift data warehouse using DataGrip and run simple queries on it on simple datasets and then merge the datasets. That is all for this video. Thank you.